Hello and welcome to Modelling Misadventures and in this video we're on to part 7 of the Lancaster Bomber. Now a quick look at the mag and in this issue we're going to be doing the flight engineers station, a bit more of the fuselage side there and this is all still up the front, instrument panel there, control panel, that's what it's going to be looking like. And uh, a little article on S for Sugar, very famous Lancaster bomber, subject of many models. Still exists today, there it is in the Royal Air Force Museum at Hendon. And then a little article about the rise of the Luftwaffe. There they are, learning to fly in gliders. Now also in this stage, they've sent me replacement parts for stage five where there was a piece missing in mine. So the missing piece is in there. I'll be able to finish that off as well. Now, before we get into this stage seven, that is the end of stage five completed. It is those hydraulic pipes behind the pilot seat. And this is the piece that was missing before. So that section is now finished. Here are the parts for stage seven. Very nice. Nice little control panel. That's handrail going down to the front of the fuselage. That's lovely. So on to stage seven and the first bit to put on is this thing called the recuperator. Not sure exactly what that does. It goes on there like that. And this is a handrail going down to the front of the fuselage. This is called the slow running cutout panel. The oxygen economizer. And then we're gonna fit this interior panel on. And this is the flight engineer's folding seat. A little hinge mechanism to go on it. So that's that in position. And I've noticed on this kit, they tend to be showing these seats in the folded position, which is not how they would be in flight because there'd be somebody sitting on it. But I think they've obviously taken their drawings from the Lancaster that's sitting on the ground. And this thing here is meant to be the back of the flight engineer's seat. Looks like a canvas type thing. And the last part of this stage is to fit this very nice control panel. And that's the end of that stage. Now, if you look at these pictures from a real Lancaster, you can see that that yellow handrail going down to the bomb aimer section is very accurate. And this uh, instrument panel also looks very good. You can see it's got all the right dials on and the, the fuel pump levers. So very good. Well, that's it for today. Another quick stage, but coming on very nicely. Hope you're enjoying seeing this uh, model coming together. It is an absolute brilliant kit. But uh, that's it for today's video. Thanks for watching and I'll see you next time on Modelling Misadventures.